Alright guys, because of the new release of Janemba and Gogeta, we're going to go ahead and do a card review of the three brand new units that are going to be available. The first, both well, of one that you see here, yes there are three, is the SR Fat Janemba that is coming along for the ride. So this is Collection of Evil Gas Janemba, he is an agility unit fat form. His leader ability is agility and physical type T plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 20%. His super attack, rapid cannon, causes huge damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Polluted Gas, changes physical orbs to agility orb. Link skills are the Innocence, More Than Meets the Eye, Metamorphosis, Master of Magic, and Nightmare. He has max stats of HP of 6630, attack of 6472, and defense of 3845. Overall, garbage unit, no one likes him, he's only good for his physical uh, to agility key orb manipulation. Type to type, best type in my opinion. Uh, details, 12 key multiplier, 125%. And he Doken Awakens with 21 medals. You're definitely going to want to Doken Awaken him, but there's a couple things I want to state about him. Um, chances of you running him on a mono team, or uh, mono agility team, are a little bit higher, when you do, especially when you Doken Awaken him, because of his links, his next link skill set, which I'll talk about. You may want to consider keeping at least one of him to Doken Awaken into the next form um, to for use in-game. So to me, that means... I would personally like to get one up to Super Attack 10 before Doken Awakening him, and then Doken Awakening him for viability on future team. Doken Awakens with 21 Janemba medals into Raging Evil Spirit Super Janemba. Now this Super Janemba feeds into the, both the Strength and the Intelligence ones, so that's why I was kind of saying it's like a, it's split there, because this guy is not a great unit, but he can play a good role on a mono villain agility team due to his key orb manipulation, especially if you have someone like Majin Vegeta and or the LR Androids. If you have both of them, you keep LR Androids on one rotation, keep Majin Vegeta on another rotation, and this guy's a floater for the key orb manipulation to help them get their super attacks off, essentially. Um, he's token awakened variant, also has really good link skills, uh, but he also feeds into the super Janemba when you Z-awaken him to an ultra rare, it's 100% chance up. So it's up to you on how you want to play that. Well, let's talk about the card. Leader ability is Agility and Physical Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. Uh, super Tag is Lightning, Shower, Rain, causes extreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. Passive Skill, Invasion of Evil Spirits, change physical orbs to Agility and Attack plus 20%. Again, not hard-hitting unit, he does get the upgrade to Extreme, but still not that great. Link Skills, though, are really useful. Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, Nightmare, and Fear and Faith. He has such a nice Link Skill set, he's essentially, in my opinion, he is equivalent to like a Kaioken for villain teams, <laughs> the Kaioken Goku's for villain team, because of his link skills. He has so many good link skills. Uh, max stats, but Kaioken is specifically key, but you know what I'm saying. Max stats are HP of 7260, attack of 7344, and defense of 4190, 12 key multiplier of 125%. Uh, he does have max dupe system, I don't see anyone ever doing it, but HP is 10,020, defense uh, or attack. HP is 10,020, attack is 10,344, and defense is 7,430. Overall, not an awesome unit, definitely not a great unit, definitely not a staple unit, but he is a decent unit, especially if you're lacking cards for a mono uh, villains team for agility. Uh, he can definitely come into play and be very viable. But uh, yeah, guys, he's going to be very common. He's at like a 10%, he had a 10% pull rate on the JP side, so make sure you keep that in mind when you're pulling on this banner. You're going to get a lot of them. Next one we're going to talk about is the actual Janemba. There's uh, just one uh, will feed into this one. Make sure don't do not Doken Awaken him if you're going to go down that path because you want that 100% chance when you Z Awaken the agility one to Ultra Rare so you can feed him into this one. Uh, this guy's leader ability is Extreme Type Strength Type uh, Extreme Strength Type Key plus two HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. Super Strength Type HP Attack and Defense plus 40%. A Super Attack is Rakshasa's Claw if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Passive skills, unpredictable form, attack plus 70%, guard activated against all attacks, and chance to evade enemies' attack, including the super attack. I don't know why everyone says he's overrated, because he's not. He's an amazing unit. He is a really good unit. He gets an attack buff, he does immense damage modifier, he guards against everyone, and he has a chance to evade. I mean, yes, there are two cards currently in the game that are better dodgers than Janemba, but if he doesn't dodge, he guards very well, and he does a lot of damage, so... I don't know, that's just my thing. Plus, he has really good link skills. Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Metamorphosis, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare and Fear and Fate. Very good link skill set for villains. Max stats are HP of 85-31, attack of 88-63, and defense of 40-94, and a 12 key, key multiplier of 150%. Now, I, I question if that's correct or not, I don't know. But uh, an Undoken form should probably not be 150%. 
Um, he would require 77 medals to Doken Awaken, and we're not going to talk about his max potential because we're going to talk about his Doken Awaken form. So, Evil Incursion Super Genomba is his Doken form after 77 medals. His leader ability, Extreme Strength Type, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%. Super type is going to be type key, uh, key plus one, HP attack and defense plus 50% for super strength type. Uh, his super attack, Rock Kasha's Claw, again, immense damage and greatly lowers defense. Passive skill, Beyond Space. It's literally the same thing, except he gets an additional 10% on his attack. So, I mean, it's cool. I like that. Link skills, everything is the same, except he now gets Fierce Battle, which is really useful. So he gets 15, 10, so 25% additional on his attack, because chances are you're always going to have Fierce Battle hit off. And the attack plus, that additional 10% attack always going to be there when you super attack. So very, very viable. Very good unit. Very good unit. Very good unit. <laughs> I can't say that enough. Uh, max stats are HP of 11,333. Attack of 10,793. Defense of 5,343. It keeps his 12 key multiplier of 150%. And when you use uh, dupe system, we'll talk about base and max because I know a lot of us are going to probably be doing base when we get them. If we get them. HP of 13,333 base. Um, 12,793 and 7,343. Now, defense is really what we're going to have to worry about here because that's his primary use. That's how he's going to be utilized. Uh, max stats are HP of 16,333 when you get him to all four dupe has unlocked. Attack of 16,193 and defense of 9,943. Overall, he's going to be a very good tank if you do that. Uh, this is the type of unit where, I mean, you're still going to want to do bottom right, top left path first, but in terms of top right, bottom left, bottom left is probably the third one you're going to want to up, uh, open in order to give his defense some really nice buffs to make him tank even better. Um, he's probably, you're probably going to want to also give him dodge in the dupe system as well. Uh, but overall, really good unit. I like him. Um, and I, you know, The time that this banner goes live, or this banner, this video goes live, I should have already done my uh, is the banner worth it video, or at least the future meta of the banners in terms of categories. In terms of who he is in future categories, He's not going to play as big of a role, but he's still a very good unit. He's a very solid unit, and he may come into play again because their Bandai's not going to keep a card like this uh, out of the meta, at least my opinion. Um, next, and definitely not least, is going to be the Super Gogeta. Now, this is his SSR variant, Path to Victory Super Gogeta. His leader ability and Super Intelligence Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%, Extreme Intelligence Type HP Attack and Defense plus 40%. So he's going to be really good for a LR Gohan team until you get like a, a, the ultimate Gohan for the category event. At least that's my opinion on the matter. He's, he makes the Mono Intelligence team uh, very, very viable. It's the Heroes one. Passive skill, Miraculous Flames. Attack was 100%. Attack's effective against all types. Again, like the Strength Gogeta. He is very viable. He will always have viability in the future. Even if he gets overwritten with a new card, he will always have viability because of that attack effective against all types. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, prepared for battle over in a flash, Fuse Fighter, and Experienced Fighters. Really, really good Link skill set. His category is Fusion. Uh, again, only really good for a category of Fusion for the future, but he's still a good unit, and he just makes that team. He literally makes that team. Without him on that team, I don't know. <laughs> he's awesome. Max stats is HP of 8355, attack of 9740, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, and defense of 3648, a little bit on the lower side, 12 key multiplier of 140%. He token awakens with 77 Go uh, Gogeta medals. Uh, and actually, some of you guys had let me know that you grinded out 77 of these from the current event just so you can get him token awakened, also so you don't have to go up against that. Kudos to you. <laughs> uh, when you token awaken him, he becomes a beast. Outshining Darkness Super Gogeta. Leader ability, super intelligence type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Uh, extreme Intelligence Key plus 1, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. His Super Attack is Soul Punisher. Causes immense damage to the enemy and lowers Attack and Defense. His passive skill, Overwhelming Radiance. Attack plus 120%. Attack's effective against all types. Really awesome. Overwhelming. 120% attack buff is, is phenomenal. Uh, his Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Over in a Flash, Fused Fighter, Experienced Fighters, and Fierce Battle. So, he is definitely not lacking in key. He has key plus one for Golden Warrior, prepared for battle, key plus two. Over and a flash, key plus three, and Fuse Fighter, key plus two. So that's two, five, six, seven, eight. He has eight key total if all of them are hit off. How insane. And then he also has Fierce Battle, 15% Experienced Fighter, 10%, which is 25%, 35%, including Super Saiyan. And other than Experienced Fighters, most of these are going to be going off. Especially on Fuse Fighter, because... A lot of the Fuse Fighters has, have over in a flash. <laughs> Again, Fusion category. Max stats are HP of 10,695. Attack of 11,660. Wow. 
and a defense of 4,578. He has a 12 key multiplier of 150%, which is even oh, so freaking awesome. And then let's talk about a base potential system is going to be HP of 12,695, attack of 13,660, and defense of 6,578. Now you just add on about 3,000 to each of those, and that's what you get for the total max potential system if you are lucky enough to like you know pull five of them <laughs> uh but anyway yeah attack of 16,000 plus 150 percent 12 key multiplier and 120 percent on his passive plus another 35 percent on his links this guy is insane so him on a super saiyan gohan or lr gohan team just makes him so freaking viable uh but yeah guys uh, those are the banner review I just will, or at least the three new card review that's coming out. I like all these units. The the Janemba and the Gogeta are definitely phenomenal. I don't know which one I like better because I like Janemba's vi viability, versatility in terms of how he can be utilized. But Gogeta is just a freaking powerhouse and destroys everything. But let me know what you guys think down in the cards in the comments below. Which ones do you like better? I'm sure a lot of you like Gogeta, but I'm sure I have some Janemba fans out there. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.